Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again. And I want to take a few moments to talk to you about something that I think is important, and I hope that you will, after you pay some attention to it, would agree. Oftentimes, I hear people who are so upset with the system and with the way things are that they just cannot find a way to go along with it. So they denounce God. A lot of people just don't believe in God at all. Let me say that again. A lot of people do not believe in God at all. And if you ask them, they have legitimate reasons. And for me, if I were truthful to my core, I could say to you that I don't know that there's a God. I believe that there's a God. And let me tell you why. You see, the best that I can perceive of God is the best that I can see of myself. And here's what I understand. I understand that I would like to enjoy my life. And that entails a lot of things that are common amongst all of us, which indicates to me that all of us would like to enjoy our lives. And when I say enjoy our lives, I'm referring to our dreams coming true, the things that we dream of, the things that we wish for coming true. And so I believe that it is extended to every individual on the face of the earth. They would like for their dreams to come true. Now, when I, it's not good enough to just like for your dreams to come true, but is it possible? And if so, how? So I look at things like I would see dreams coming true. I look at things being supplied, given, by a power outside of us, and I'm referring to the earth and the abilities that the earth has. And that includes what's above the earth, on the earth, and in the earth. I look at that as being power that's outside of our hands. Now, naturally, for me, it's good to say, God, I know it was not you. I know it was not me. And all of these ambitions, all of these desires, all of our dreams that we would like to come true, all have something to do with the ability of the earth to do its thing, the ability of nature to do its thing. And nature has not failed us yet. Nature does exactly what nature is supposed to do. And so I look at us, we the people who have all these different ambitions and dreams and aspirations, and I say, how could that be done? And the first thing I have to see is that we recognize that since we didn't bring anything in the earth with us, we don't take anything out of the earth with us. Ownership is outside of ourselves. And the only way that we could, and rightly so, enjoy the fruits of this which has been provided is to respect one another. To do unto others as we'd have us as others to do unto us. In that way, we, the people who are already creating from the resources all of the things that we dream about, we are already doing it. So what we need to do according to my aspiration and desire is to remove that which keeps us from getting it. First of all, we would think it's the money because without money we can't get it. So we would say we remove the money. To a lot of people that sounds crazy. So we might want to step into it a little bit deeper wherein comes the expression do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And if you're doing that and you see money as being a problem, then it would be no problem no longer because you would get rid of it. You would get rid of it. And where there's peace, where there's prosperity, there will be joy. But at the same time, I want you to know that in the middle of this peace, in the middle of this prosperity, in the middle of this joy, there might be some motivation for an individual or group or a group of groups to decide to disrupt this which we call dream maker because their dream is to have more. And usually the motivation for that is because they think they are more than the rest of the people. They think they're better than, they think they deserve better. They think they deserve more. And the only thing it takes for one person to be able to move that is to be able to articulate that message around his peers. And eventually someone will start listening. Someone will start agreeing because you cannot do too much by yourself. 
alone. You need support. And as you get out there with that corrupt message, that cancerous message that's going to destroy any society, I guarantee you that cancer will spread. And the next thing you know, we'll have the kinds of societies that we have on this earth today. I know that for a fact. I don't need to know that there's a God for that. I know that for an absolute fact. So, here's the path that we're marching on. Here's the path that we're marching on. But I also know, I also know that where you have a system so manifest like this, that in order to make it go right again, in order to erase the cancer, we'd have to treat it with a new way of acting. We have to treat it with a new response to life, a positive response in the middle of this. And that doesn't guarantee that it would eradicate the cancer. But it is required that those who would stay away from the cancer walked according to those rules and prerequisites that would deny cancer. And what we see here, this is what I see. This is what I see. A society where you got people who want the peace the prosperity, and the joy. Let them continue to do what is required. Those who do not want peace and prosperity and joy for everyone but for themselves, let them do what they do. Because I know that this process will separate us. It will separate the wheat from the tar. Now, they might be growing together right now, but it will separate them. And the wheat will end up in one place and the terror would end up in another. And those who love peace and prosperity will enjoy, will live with peace and prosperity and joy. And those who don't will live as they have chosen to live. So I see that as a process that's taking place in this earth today. I see that this magnificent power that was able to do all of the things that you know that you and I can never do in the process of creating those who choose to live in peace and prosperity and joy and those who choose not to. Whatever it's worth. Bye-bye.